Yo, what's up guys? I've taken a long break off YouTube, but I am back inside of the new game Pet Simulator 99, and today I'm going to be showing you how broken vending machines are. I have a whole route to show you guys, and it is absolutely insane. However guys, before we get into the start of the video, I have a huge pet that I still have not given away. This huge dog, some people might remember it, as the giveaway pet that was in my last trading series video. I still have not given it away, so one week from now I am going to be choosing somebody to give this away to. To enter the giveaway, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down your username and an emoji telling me that you watched the video. Now let's get back into the video. Alright guys, before we do anything, we have to equip treasure hunter enchants as many as we can because it will increase the amount of drops that we get a ton like this one treasure hunter 5 it increases the chance of drops from breakables by 30 percent that's huge 30 percent will just get us a ton of enchants all the time all right guys the first thing we want to do is go over to the group rewards and claim these if you haven't already. You can also claim the social rewards. And if you have VIP. You can also go to the VIP rewards to claim those. It gives you three free gifts. And then. You just want to. Come down here. Get the free diamonds. And then come do this classic obby. Because these obbies are pretty easy. You don't even have to do the hard way. And you'll just get some free rewards. This obby gives diamonds, enchants, and sometimes even potions. I guess, what are we gonna get? Oh, we got a basic coin jar. And then we got two speed enchants. As you can see, there's a 15 minute cooldown, which we'll come back to later. But next, we have the potions here. We can buy four of these at one time. And then we have to make our way down to the enchant vending machine over here. We can also buy four of these. They're actually super cheap. Now that we have a ton of currency in the game after one week of playing. But then we want to go down to the minefield. My strategy is I always just walk in a straight line. It didn't work there. But you just want to keep jumping in between lines. After each explosion. Alright guys, what are we gonna get? Oh, we got three potions. And two of them were epic potions. One was rare. That's actually really good, guys. They're, all those potions are gonna add up in the future. Once you keep doing this over and over again. If we make our way down here, we have a fruits vending machine. Fruits also give buffs. On, on top of the boost. And then, right around the corner, we have a free potion. We got two damage potions. And then we have the jungle obby. This jungle obby is actually pretty easy. You can even take your time on these. Alright guys, we're about to complete the obby. What are we gonna get? We got a pineapple, one potion, and a magic coin jar. The magic coin jars are actually pretty good. You just place them down and start breaking. And then right here is the merchant. You, you can buy some more enchants. You can buy also buy flags. And then some coin jars. And then right here is the daycare. You can put your pets in there. Like I'm going to right now. I'm going to put some shiny pets in there. We can only put 10 in at a time. And as you can see, our possible rewards are enchants, potions. We can even get a spinny wheel ticket. And a booth slot voucher. That's insane. You can also get some gems for doing that. And then right in the water we have free enchant this time. Not free potion. And then you can go to this Atlantis. Where you can swim with the fish. But there's actually a mini game in here. There's this ring mini game. You have to go through all the rings as fast as you can. Right, guys, let's see what we get from this one. We got two oranges and a treasure hunting book. 
we have gotten a lot of treasure hunting books so far. That's just gonna add up like crazy. And then we can even craft in the future once we have enough. But then right here we have free items. Oh, and we just got a key. The lower half of a key. And then right here is the fruit 2 vending machine. It gives us two times the fruits. And then right here is the fishing. We don't need to do the fishing because it's not that useful. Because that one actually requires work. And, and it's the same for the dig site. We don't need to do that one. But the pyramid obby is good for us. And guys, time doesn't even matter on this. So you can take your time as long as you want. Unless you're trying to break a world record in time. Alright guys, we're at the end here. Oh, I almost failed that last jump. But we got diamonds, an enchant, and a toy ball. The toy ball, it's another boost, just like the fruits, where it gives you more power-ups. And then this time, instead of 300 diamonds right here, we actually get 1,000 diamonds for free just by taking this route. And then here's the potion 2 machine. We can also buy 4. And then we got two epic potions that's actually really good and then sometime along this route you'll find the traveling merchant i'm just gonna buy everything that he has so that i can get my respect level up because the end reward might actually be good but here is the ice obby this one in my opinion is the hardest obby out of all of them so i'm gonna take the easy way because i usually die on the hard one all right guys we got some more diamonds tap power and another diamond potion that's actually really good diamonds potions right now there's a afk farm tutorial on youtube where you can farm diamonds and then yet again right here the advanced merchant i'm gonna buy everything they have you don't have to buy everything they have it's just because i have diamonds to spend and i want to get this respect level five to see what that reward is because it might actually be super good with pricing too and then here's an enchant vending machine we can buy four of those and then we're almost to the end right here and then for this chest rush game, we want to equip the best pets that we have, guys. So I'm going to equip a full team of huge pets. Alright guys, we have our full team of, hu of huge pets. And this is the mini game that I told you to equip your treasure hunting enchants on. Because you break chests, and there's an increased chance of them dropping more enchants if you have your treasure hunting enchants on. Alright guys, let's go in. An auto clicker is also good for this game. I'm gonna actually turn on my auto clicker right there. As you can see, we got a flag, an enchant, and a potion right there out of the, just the first chest. And these are gonna add up the farther we go in. Look how many we got there. Four enchants, one potion, and one flag. And then out of the second chest, we only got three that time. It's just random odds the amount of enchants you get. Or drops. I guess, what did we get out of this one? Oh, we got four more enchants and one potion. This is actually the last chest. Alright guys, it's been like a whole minute. And the chest is basically broken at this point. Let's see what we get. Alright, we got six items now. And now we can just farm this because there's a possible reward of a huge pet if we just farm these. Which is another reason why it's good to have huge pets with strong with strong attack damage. Alright guys, we got pretty unlucky in this little area over here we didn't get anything not even any enchants but let's move on 
Alright guys, this is the final vending machine. You can buy from it if you want to, but I wouldn't recommend it. It costs 2.5 thousand gems, which might be expensive for some people. But it does give pretty good potions every single time. And then we're at the very end, right here. We, we can start farming over here if we want to. But then... We are able to teleport all the way back. And then do this all over again. As you can see, we still have 10 minutes left. But the vending machines... Like this obby right here is already restarted. And the vending machines over here... Already have four of their slots back open. So you can just go through... And buy all four of their slots each time. Most of the stuff is still on cooldown. Which is why you probably should go to the trading plaza or something. In between. Most of the obbies are probably back up already. But anyways guys, that was the farm method. On how to farm the most vending machines possible. As you can see... We got 37 items, 18 potions, and 27 enchants for just spending like 20 minutes maybe on going through. Which means every 30 minutes, you can get a ton of items, which will help you in the future if you just don't want to grind anymore in the future. You'll just have all of these so you don't have to grind. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you don't forget about that giveaway. I'm posting another video in exactly one week from this video being released about the winner of the giveaway. So don't miss the opportunity to get a free huge bet. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and comment down your username telling me you subscribed, and then maybe throw in an emoji so that I know you watched the video until the end. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.